Hey, thanks for joining us. Here's what we're going to cover in this short video. We're going to generate a short piece of content for an article using ChatGPT4. We're then going to run it through AI detectors to test the content for AI generation. It's probably going to fail. We'll then refine the content using our optimized prompt. And you can download this prompt in the description below. It lets you just copy and paste it, save time. We'll then retest the content that we've generated and then improved using the same AI detectors. And we should be super happy with the results. But before we get into that, let's talk about why we're here. So everyone's gone wild using AI content, AI to generate content over the past couple of years. And we're now seeing Google downrank our content. We've seen a growth in AI content checking tools available. And even YouTube's camping down on AI content now. Why are they doing this? Because humans enjoy reading content written by humans, basically. AI content generally lacks personality, anecdotes, experience, all that kind of thing. And it's a miserable experience when reading it generally. Now, creating content manually is always going to offer the best experience for your customers but it's just not always practical especially if you're a small business and you've got limited resources in recent times we've gained tons of experience saving companies from this google down rank hammer by humanizing ai content it also works for not just articles but ad copy social posts anything really now there's a bunch of tools you can pay for that do a pretty good job at humanizing your content we've included a link to these below as well but for those those of you who don't want to pay for another tool or you already use chat GPT we wanted to walk you through our process and share our prompt so that you can achieve really good results and save money if you've been living under a rock for the last couple of years and not use chat GPT but want to give it a go I'll whiz up a couple of slides now that from our training deck that you can have a look through you can pause the video if you want to read them more carefully right now let's fire up chat GPT what we're going to do now is start with a basic prompt in ChatGPT to generate a small piece of content about 300 words long. It's a hypothetical scenario, but we're going to use this to then determine whether or not AI detectors can work out that it was AI generated or not. So there's a prompt here asking for 300 word article talking about energy supply comparison of utility bills. So let's have a look here. Let's try and copy those. And we'll move over to Grammarly, which is a pretty well used uh, AI detector tool. We're gonna paste our content in here and check it for AI generation. Not bad, so 40% of this text appears to be AI generated. That's pretty good. Right, now let's go back to our chat GPT session. And what we're gonna do is input our prompt template here, which you can download in the description below. And then in it, we're gonna repeat the original request to generate that article content. Gonna submit that. The content's a bit more succinct. It looks quite different and it should read better as well for for your customers. Let's go back to Grammarly, clear that out and recheck. So previously we had 40% AI generated. It was actually pretty good. Generally I get 90 to 100% plus from a basic content prompt query. So we can now see that 0% of this text appears to be AI generated. I mean, this is fantastic and this should save you a whole bunch of time and money. I'm gonna quickly go over the prompt and its structure. What we did here was start the prompt again. What you could do is edit the results with a similar prompt applying these rules to that to that output and reproduce it and then you should get the same results. It's also gonna be useful for editing existing content that you might have in articles that fails the AI check and is likely not getting much traffic anymore from search. So what we're asking for here is conciseness, succinct, short sentences, less complex language, basically, avoiding adverbs, for example. Now we go into this in a bit more detail in our ebook, so download that and you can get some more information on that. So we've got a pretty good result here. Now, uh, this isn't totally foolproof, I'm sure. So it'd be great to hear in the comments how well this works for you, depending on the topic, depending that. on the type of content. So share your success with this uh, in the comments. What we'll be doing is continually updating this script uh, and we'll update the, the downloadable guide. So come back and, and check for improvements uh, in, in the future. Anyway, hope you get good success with this. And yeah, let us know how you get on.